All right, guys. <laughs> well, it does look like we are live. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna have to wait for uh, someone to come into the chat and let me know that all is good. So let's see here. Now I'm doing. This is kind of a test, but I thought that this would be a pretty cool idea. So I think I got all my ducks in a row here. Uh, let me send a message. Let's see, if I send a text chat, can I reply to the text ch uh, chat there? So if you're watching this back, probably going to sound pretty crazy, but I'm just testing here to see where everything's at. So let me watch myself live real quick. Money.com has definitely... But this would be pretty cool, right? Being able to do... Um, live streams where we talk about geckos and games and yeah i am live just testing here to see sounds pretty good where um, everything's at so let me watch my test message went through quick. got some viewers already pretty cool um how can i need to be able to see the chat though oh live chat is that it let me see if the live chat comes in because I, I need to be able to manage the live chat with you guys. And of course, this is going to be a place that we can talk about reptiles and stuff like that. But I thought it would also be cool where we could potentially have people come in and play with us, like some of our viewers and stuff. So it'll be a cool place to like hang out on game nights, uh, talk reptiles, you know, shoot the banter with each other. So right now, let's see, I'm not seeing... A specific chat window I'm looking for so let me change this up real quick here and now I can see the chat top chat live chat so if if y'all are in the chat and can send a message that'd be great I see that we have a few people here. Let's see. Seven watching. Yeah, if anybody can chime into the chat, let me know. That way I can see if I can see your guys' messages. Um, that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. Once I can see your messages, then we will be good. William, when are you going to upload some more tangerines? You know, okay, William, so you guys know that we have been, um, we've been working on a lot of rack upgrades, right? Can you hear me okay, first of all, too? Especially amidst the, the, the noise of the stream. We've been uploading a lot of rack videos, and so I've just been kind of busy with that, but man, are we growing up some very nice tangerines coming up. So, I thank you for your patience. It will be well worth it in the end. If none of you guys play Apex, it's just going to be super crazy looking to y'all. But this guy's name is Bloodhound. And I like Bloodhound because he's kind of like a hunter, right? Like, watch. He's going to watch this. Calling upon nature's strength. He goes into like this hunting mode. Let us catch them on there. So yeah, I just been busy like building the rack systems and stuff like that. Can you hear me okay, Will? Everybody. Um and yeah, so like Brooks here right now as well as one of her friends um helping out with some like uh work like reptile work and stuff. But I've been pretty busy with a bunch of reptile work too. So um when i would like to say within gosh we have three racks now i wish i could show it to you it's on my let me see i should be able to let me see if i could actually i can pop
Now you should be able to hear me, right? I just did a whole lot of talking for nothing. But I think I know what the problem is, actually. Let me see. Um, let me copy this. Let's paste that in there. Test, test. Okay, so now you can hear me. There might be a slight delay on this, but I'm going to watch this back. And William, if you can let me know, can you hear me? Can you see the content that I am putting out here, like what I'm showing? And you can hear me also. And let's see if I do this. That one had a... Yep, the desktop audio should come through. Display capture. And then now I'm back to the gameplay capture. But yeah, could, were you able to were you able to hear me in that in that section? Cool. So yeah. So what I did was I didn't have the microphone turned on. It's I don't know unless you like know streaming software. There's different scenes, and each scene has different uh, uh, elements to it, such as like the microphone and like the video and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I didn't have my microphone on that scene, but now I do. Shannon, what's going on? Pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I'm kind of excited for this because if this could be so fun, I mean, think about how fun this could be where we could have like live streams where we talk about reptiles and then certain followers of ours as well that like play the games and stuff too, they could also jump in and... Uh, play with us or just hang out, you know, on a Friday or Saturday night, talk reptiles, and then also just have fun, play, play some games or something like that. So, <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, if you guys, I can see your questions and stuff. I wonder how long of a delay there is. So, if if you guys ask me a question. Like right now, if you ask me a question, um, I'll respond to it, and then you could let me know how much of a delay there actually is. And let me know too if like the sound, like the gaming sound is too loud or too low, or my voice sound is too loud or too low. I'm going to watch this back, but since you guys are here now, you can give me feedback and I can change things as I need to as well. So. I'm Bloodhound right now. I just started playing more Bloodhound, and man, I was like killing it sometimes. I, I, I actually though, I gotta tell myself I was doing horrible today. I don't know what it was or yesterday. I haven't played yet today, but oh, this guy! I knew it. I knew he was gonna get me from the back. I like this kill cam. They have these new kill cams, which are pretty cool. So yeah, this is what I do in between my reptile days. Ooh, look at that guy. Oh, I have no grenades because it's gun run. Taking a moment to recharge my shields. Bless me with sight. Oh, no enemies in sight. See, I like Bloodhound because he's kind of like animalistic. There's also another chick that's kind of like animalistic too. Uh-oh, this guy's chasing me. All right. Yeah, see, I know where he is now, though. Ooh. Taking a moment to recharge my shields. I can my hear and he did. Well, it's good to know that this works. <laughs> and I also have other games I play, too, like... But this is this one's my main one, and then also just started playing Diablo 4 again, so that's pretty cool. There you go. Oh, I hit you. Ooh, someone got me from below. 
lower. I'm gonna just test this out so I can play I this back. back. I'm gonna lower the. Our prey is halfway to victory. See, I don't see any new questions, so maybe there's a major. There could be a major delay on this. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me go to the live and see if the live has new questions that I did not see. Um, Westis, thank you for coming. Shoot me a question, Westis. Can you ask me a question? I want to see how long it takes for me to see your question. And then when I reply to it, you can let me know, was my reply timely or way behind? Now, this is probably going to be way too loud. I'm going to turn. Yeah, this is going to be way too loud. I don't want to do that to you guys. So I'm just going to leave the gun sound a little lower. Oh, got my ultimate. I don't see a question, so waiting on a question. Up oh. around how long? do TSF eggs take that take to hatch? Very good question. That is 60 to 65 days. So let me know, was that a delay? I'll be able to watch this back and see probably, but like, was that a long time from when you typed the question to when I was able to see it and answer? Man, I love my new PC though. I could do so much with this thing compared to my, I had a gaming laptop before. That thing could not cut it. I didn't realize how bad that thing was until I got a gaming desktop. And then I was like, wow, I've been like, it's almost like I was swimming instead of like walking, you know? The difference is crazy. Kill right here with the knife. All right. well, very high knife bounce. Alright, so anyone else got a question? That way I can see how long it takes me to respond. It took a minute or so, but I think it was because you were playing. Okay, so okay, so what I'm gonna do, ask ask me a question, and what I'm gonna say is I see your question now. And then you could tell me how much of a delay there is, right? So anybody ask me a question, and then I'm going to tell you guys, I see your question now, and then you guys will know like how delayed I am or not. Also, is my mic volume too loud or like the game volume? I think this is game changer for real though. This could really question. Okay, William, I just see your question now. So, is there a delay? You know, I had a, so this is Pathfinder for you guys who don't know Apex Legends. He has a chameleon skin. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I bought this skin. Oh, they, oh snap, I'm equipping it. Okay, sorry, I just got really excited because so when I first started playing Apex, I started playing on PS4. And at that time, PS4 and PC were two separate like games. You could not commingle the two. How much of a delay? Like a couple minute or um and and because you could not commingle the two, if you bought any items on one game you would not be able to transfer those items to the next so i bought a chameleon skin right for watch you'll see the chameleon skin here again i bought a chameleon skin for pathfinder and i was so excited about it but then i started playing on pc here he is 
chameleon. Um, look, his little mouth, eyes, everything. Um, I started playing on PC. And when I started playing on PC, I no longer had his skin. And so I was sad. I was like, man, I bought that chameleon skin and now I can't play with it. So I'm going to mute. I'm going to have to mute this guy. Hold on. Let's use that. We don't want you guys hearing these guys. One minute delay. Holy cow, that is a delay. But the gameplay is not delayed, right? Let me see if the gameplay is delayed. So right now... Right now I'm about to head up a rope. Now. Heading up a rope now. Did you guys see me head up that rope at the same time that I was heading up the rope? I think so. I don't think there's a delay in gameplay. I think there's a delay in chat. And I wonder if I watch it live on YouTube, if the delay in chat will go away. So let me see. Let me watch this. Let me watch this live from YouTube and let me see if the delay goes away. Right? Plus, I'm making myself money by <laughs> watching my own video. Question. Um, yeah, one minute delay. Shannon said, yeah. So I, yeah, so I think we're good on the actual gameplay. So actual gameplay is good. Um, it is the chat that seems to be delayed by a minute or so. But that's cool. So how are your guys' Saturdays going? Um... It is Saturday, right? Sometimes the days just blend in together. Whoa, she's fast. Holy cow, how's she moving so fast? What? That is not normal for her to be moving that fast. Every character has different abilities, which is pretty cool. See, this is Pathfinder. He can use a grapple to shoot across objects and stuff. Um, and get away and stuff. Um, <laughs> that was close. I'm so low on health. I'm so low. I gotta get out of here. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, so Path, every, every legend, as they call it, so I call it Apex Legends, has different abilities. And it's pretty cool. His jump pad, an octane. Ooh. Need to recharge my had oh yeah that's right tomorrow's Easter praise God um and some people do have services tonight some people do have services tonight so happy Easter to everybody. Um, I hope you guys, anybody doing anything special for Easter? I'm going to be spending some time with my niece, my nephew, which is always really cool. I always feel bad because I, I've been spending so much time, like, on the business and stuff. And I have, you know, my, my niece and nephew only live, like, literally 10 minutes down the street. And I don't make enough time for them. And I'm like, man, I'm losing this time with my niece and nephew like there will always be reptiles right there will always be business but there won't always be a niece or nephew that is the age they are now right so you kind of want to take advantage of these years and so i'm starting to make those changes now I'm starting to make those changes now but um yeah for the longest time i was just staying focused on business and growing business and that's cool but you also don't want to let life pass you by, right? Did any of you guys see like the new rack uh, building videos we're doing? Those are going to be pretty cool. Would any of you guys be interested in buying the blueprints? If you're a handy person, those racks will save you so much money compared to buying the professional ones. And also time because those racks, uh, like when you buy a professional rack, Sometimes it could take one, two, three, four, five months before you can get the rack, depending on 
how much their lead time is. This is also a cool thing with Pathfinder. So he has this thing called Zipline. I'll just show you what it is. But basically, he can shoot a, uh, a rope that he can travel on. Yes, I have a six-month-old nephew. Oh, cool. Well, nice. Glad that you're going to be spending time with family and whatnot. probably gonna have to play with Brooke. So you guys know Brooke. She's here right now. She's been helping. Well, maybe some of you guys don't know Brooke. But Brooke is the OG with us. She has been with us for like over three years working. Um, and her boy, or, or not, sorry, not her boyfriend. Her, hu her now husband, which actually I'm gonna show Brooke's wedding. I have uh, wedding clips from Brooke's wedding that I need to put together into a video. So I'm gonna be showing those. Um, Probably over the next, I don't know, couple weeks, I'll get that edited. I forget what I was saying. But glad you guys are hanging out. I mean, I think this has the opportunity to be really cool. I could be completely wrong. Maybe people won't care at all to game and, uh, and stream with us. But, um... What's the name? Um, I think it could catch on. Like, imagine being able to game with your favorite, um, like, content creators or reptile breeders, right? Because reptile breeders like games, too. I know Bob Vu plays Diablo, so I could play Diablo with Bob Vu. Oh, and that's what I was going to say is Brooks' now husband is, like, um, a gamer streamer too, so I'll probably have to play with him sometime. So anyway, I got a nice fancy computer now, which allows me to do this kind of thing. What? what? Cool thing about Pathfinder, he can get out the way quick. You see that? He can get out the way quick. <laughs> oh no, I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh no. So close. If you guys don't know what's on the bottom left, oh, you can't see my health bar. You can't see my health bar because my face is kind of. Right. I'll let you know when I'm low. When I'm running, I'm low. This is a very like fast. If you've never played Apex, it's a very fast-paced first-person shooter. So it just got snagged. Character Ash has this ability to snag people. Um, where is she? Oh, I can't show you her because one of our teammates is Ash. Do you play games like Madden? No, so COD, I was big into COD. Uh, or sorry, yeah, I played COD for a little bit. But when I was in high school, I was big into, um, uh, what am I thinking of? Yeah, it looks like I'm, I'm testing this out. I muted, I muted my PC, but I'm I'm talking right now, so I wonder if you guys can hear me. But when I was in high school, I was big into um, oh gosh, why is oh Counter Strike? That's what I was thinking. So, so in high school, I played a ton of Counter Strike, a ton of Diablo, and then when I got older, like as an adult, I used to play uh, Call of Duty with my um, my good friend. And then life got busy for both of us. He had a family and kids, and then I wound up going into the reptile business and just being busy with that. So we stopped playing Call of, um, Call of Duty. And then after I stopped playing Call of Duty, I'm gonna play with this chick here. She's pretty cool, I'll show you her abilities. Um, when I stopped playing Call of Duty, um, I really didn't play like any games for a while and then I don't know I got into Apex oh you know what it was was my sister-in-law's boyfriend at the time had us play Apex with him and pff, I don't know why I decided because I was terrible when I first started like but something intrigued me about it and I started to watch like um content creators for like streamers and stuff like that and then i started to play apex like very seriously 
Like I can show you how many hours I've played Apex. I have a ton of hours logged into Apex. Um, and it wasn't until I got off of my laptop and onto an actual gaming PC that things really started like exploding for me. So I, w I remember I was so frustrated because I put in so many hours and like I still didn't feel like I was that good at Apex. And Apex has a really large learning curve. So I was like, maybe it's just me. I don't know. Um, or maybe I just need to get better or put in more time or I need coaching. Like there's something I'm not seeing about the game. But then when I got my new PC, it just all clicked. Like the frame rates and everything. So, so what I think it was was I was actually good like or better than I thought I was. It was just my laptop wasn't allowing me to perform at that level based on frame rates and stuff like that. You should do an Apex pack opening. What is that? What, what is an Apex pack opening? Can you tell me what that is? Apex pack opening. Oh, okay. I got a ton of them. I didn't know you know about that. Yeah, I got like 70 packs or something. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do some pack openings after this match right here. How's that? Oh, I didn't get my character. I didn't get my character. Someone took it before me. This chick is cool, though, too. She flies. But I don't want to play with her. Mm, who do I want to play with? Who do I want to play with? Does no one remember the Ballistics. I'll play with her. I'll play with uh, Valk. She has a jetpack. What? It takes so much damage to kill people in Apex. That's the problem, and, and that's how you have to, you have to get used to Apex versus Call of Duty versus um, uh, Counter Strike is different in the sense that it takes so much damage to kill people, and every character has special abilities. So you do have to watch out for people's special abilities. Like this guy, I could rocket him. See, see, I rocket him. Oh my God. She hit me with that SMG. The SMGs just do crazy. Up close, SMGs are crazy. But. I need a little bit of distance for this uh, game mode here. What is this? This is deathmatch? Gun run? No, this is deathmatch. See how much damage it takes to kill people? I, I blasted that person. See? It takes more than 200 damage to kill people most times. And they can heal up really easily. Oh, okay. Warzone. I forget which, um... Hey. Hey. You, you all done? I think so. I was just showing people who you are. Wait, what do you mean? I'm streaming. I'm streaming right now. Sorry, nobody could hear that. Yeah. Um, because my now my microphone should be working. So if you want to say hi, that'll be a good test. Hello, world. So I labeled this um, gaming and geckos and gaming. Yeah. Stream that's why. streaming that's why. to YouTube. Did you? Yeah. This is my first one, that's but I think I that's why I didn't burst in here going. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I was telling him, I was like, I know Dustin does the streaming thing, so I was like, we're going to have to play some games now together. Yes! But wouldn't it be cool if like you could play with your followers and stuff like that? So that's kind of what I'm thinking about. But, um, so let me go, you need me right now? You want me to go look at things or something? Aren't or you in the middle of the game? Uh, yeah, but I mean, I need to take care of you. And you the game, Yeah, but I need to... Alert 5, now for actual. Ready for burn, now for main engine burn. I will, but I need to. I need to take care of you. What, so what's going on? What'd you finish? What's what's the dealio? Fill me in. Shields. 
<laughs> By rats, you mean like cleaning or you mean the water and food? But you marked the with the green clip what you did. Okay. Um, I love how that's like your thought process. <laughs> that's commitment right there. If I, if I die, I want you to know where I left off. But you know what? I was in the middle of cleaning. I mean, I could definitely appreciate that. That is true. Bro Brooke has been breaking everywhere. Breaking, bleeding, whatever bees, everything. Dying. Yeah. Oh, no scope. No scope. Come on. Oh my gosh. That was terrible. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is There we go. There we go. At least I got it. He doesn't play it. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay, they put some phonetic stuff going on there. It is a raging game for sure, 100%. It's so frustrating sometimes. Because there's a huge learning curve. Like, it, it really is a difficult game at first. And then even once you get good, sometimes people just, like, outplay you. And you just do something dumb, right? And it's, like, pretty crazy, but... But, yeah, I used to rage like crazy when I was a teenager in high school. We were just talking about how I played games. And I'd be, like, yelling in my house. You know my dad, right? My dad would come into my room... You're like, what? What do you do? Yeah, like, what's going on? But, yeah. Um, she was working a lot as a nurse and stuff like that, so I don't know. I don't remember her reacting as much as my dad. But they were, they were both definitely like, you need to chill. Like, stop yelling in our house, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I was... I think most guys get that way, you know, when they're young, I would say. You, you kind of grow out of it as you get older, especially as you pay for your own stuff. And you get you get more self-control and everything like that, you know? Oh, I thought I was Bloodhound. I'm this chick, so this move literally just delayed me and did nothing. Oh, okay. So you already know. We should play all together one day. <laughs> what? Uh, well, I haven't had a computer that can handle it. Now I have a computer that can handle it. I just spent 1600 bucks on that thing. And that's not even, you know, super amount of money, but it, it's good enough. OP Red Hawk is... Brooks, back, hubby. So, what do you need from me? What's going on? Because I'm sick. Recharging my shield. Oh, yeah. I can cover tag use with Whitney. Giving my shield to recharge. I will double check tonight before I go to bed. That way, the next time I go... Because I don't want to go into the rat shed unless I'm about to take a shower. Because then, if I'm doing other things, I'll be icky. Yeah. You probably feel pretty icky right now. <laughs> rats, when you clean rats, it makes you feel Recharging really shields. icky. So, are you gonna wait with Tabel? Help Tabel? Oh, okay. Giving my shields oh, a recharge. That's nice. There's still mozzarella sticks and chicken tenders, too. Oh, okay. You're gonna do ramen? Yeah, Whitney likes going to those ramen places. Um, so yeah, do me a favor too, whether it's now or later, just like send me your hours. I don't know if you clocked in or any of that kind of stuff. Okay, okay. And then did Tavel send me a message when he got here? Okay. Okay, then I'll, I should have a message from him. 
Well, I mean, I should have a bomb. Okay. okay. Back in action. Sounds good. Can't keep a legend dead. Using grapple. Yeah, yeah. So the shed, you could plug that fan back in. Um, and all the water bowls are uh, on there, and the babies are closed up. Like the latest. Giving my shields a recharge. Maybe I'll play some Diablo. On any idea on when new females go on the website? So right now we actually have young females only. Um, let me see if this works actually. Let me, let me exit this. So we only have, we have young females only right now. And they are like high quality tangerines and like black knights that are growing up. That's mainly what we have. Um, so those females, as soon as they're like a month or two old, like two months old, when I can like tell sex and then also how, how they're aging and their colors are developing, that's when I like to list them. I was really close to – oh, it's not showing Diablo for some reason. Oh, there it is. I was really close to listing tangerines on our website as babies. So selling them at like a month old when their colors and patterns have not yet developed. Um, and, and selling them for like half the price that I would normally do or even a third of the price that I would normally do when, when they're older. So people, so it's kind of like a, a cool thing. People could buy a young gecko for like 100, 150 bucks, and it'll turn out to be a $300, $400, or $500 adult. Or even if it turns out to be only a $150 adult or a $200 adult, they still get their money's worth, you know? Um, so I was thinking of doing that. Let's find out where the best rewards are right now. Let's go there. I don't know if you guys like Diablo, but this was another big game of mine in my teenage years. I must wait. Oh, Wally, what's going on, man? Thanks for coming, Wally. Yeah, did you text me, Wally? Um, or send a message on like Instagram or something. So honestly, I haven't like checked my Instagram and Facebook really as much right now. Um, I've just been sticking with like my text messages and emails for the most part. Um, so I do apologize about that, you know, to Wally and also anyone who is messaging me on those places. Wally, are you a gamer? What 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 games did you like back in your day? Um, I'm gonna turn the sound down a little bit. And also, Wally or anybody, feel free to let me know, like how the sound is. Let let me turn the sound down to like. I love Diablo like sound and music though. So let, let me let me let me leave it high, and then you guys let me know if it's just too loud. All right. Oh, this is my barbarian character right now, and there is about a minute delay from the live stream and messages. So I, I apologize about that, but just keep that in mind, anyone who is messaging us. But Wally, good to see you, man. Oh, so what I was saying about games is it would be pretty cool to like play with other you know, reptile breeders or content creators. Cause like Bob, Bob Vu plays Diablo, right? So wouldn't that be cool to be like playing with the con, like the breeders that you follow and just hanging out, talking reptiles. People can talk reptiles in the chat too and stuff like that. I'm not ready yet. Barbarian. Sometimes you just feel like that. So he, you played a lot of Civ. Oh, you played a lot of Diablo? 
Dude, I don't know if you know, but this is Diablo 4 now. You do need a pretty, like, high-end computer to run Diablo 4 I'm nowadays. Asleep. But, um... Yeah, if you played, like, Diablo 1 or something... Okay, so honestly, I don't know if you played Diablo 2, but there's arguments out there that Diablo 2 was the best game ever in the Diablo franchise. Diablo 4 is trying to make a difference, and for the most part, it's... It's okay, like Diablo 4 is pretty good, but I just think the nostalgia of Diablo 2 and I don't know, it was just such a good game, Diablo 2. Oh, I got some pants. Found some pants. This is a charged barbarian. Played one, two, and three. Dang, that means you were you were already an adult when you were playing three. Not not to say that adults can't play games, but I'm just saying um, a lot of I don't know what I am. I know um what's his name? Um, gosh, I don't know why his name is facing on me right now. Gary, Gary, you know Gary. He was saying that he plays a lot of Apex. So I was like, maybe one day me and Gary could squash the beef by duking it out on Apex or something. <laughs> that would be cool. But yeah, talking about beef, it's just gotten so ridiculous, guys. Some of the things that like people are saying about us or like proclaiming about us has gotten so outrageous. Um... I don't even want to like dignify it with the response, right? Because it's almost like like talking about like do I have to deny 20 things and say like no, we don't do this or we've never done this 20 times or something like that. Like I feel like our followers, they know who we are. They they know our animals, they know they trust us, they believe in us. And so when other people try to like belittle that or lie about us or or slander about us like they they can do that but i feel like where i want to spend my time is just continuing to establish good rapport with the people that do have interactions with us and also i don't want to like bring to light lies and stuff like that that people don't even know about right so like some of the things that i've heard over the last you know not a couple years but but recently um there were a couple things that were brought to my attention that people were saying about us and um it, it was so outlandish so ridiculous i'm just like why would i even mention this unless like a big content creator said something about it like the people that are saying these things are so are so small like they have no followers like no audience it's almost like why would i bring that negativity up when there's no need to bring it up if that makes sense so oh okay so if you could barely hear them because of the game then I do need to let's lower this then. Hey. Okay. Uh yes. Just be careful opening. Yes. And just because if he thinks he's getting fed, he might Yeah, so just open open the lid. Yeah, open the lid and then step up on the stool and see what he's doing. As long as he's not like periscoping, he's not looking for food. And just like touch him on the head or something like that. She's going to show her friend the, she's gonna show him the, wait, let's discard that. Can I lower this? Yeah, I, okay, I can lower this here like this. Well, yeah, but I, <coughs> yeah, but I didn't bring up any specific accusations is what I'm saying. Like specifically to address things that like somebody is saying that is like so far removed from the truth you know um
I hope this is better. I think it's I'm low on fury. Yeah, probably everything. Probably everything that people say is not true, 100%. I mean, I was supposed to go on Trap Talk's episode, but he goes to go. He, le he led me on to thinking that he was going to bring me on. And like, last minute, just ignored me, didn't talk to me, and then he also hid me from his channel so I couldn't comment on the live stream. Um, so yeah, I mean, I feel like I would, I would totally... Like Wally, I would totally um, do a live stream with you or with somebody that I know is going to be professional about it. You guys know, or Wally, you know, I was scheduled to do a live stream with Gary like last year or something like that. You know, regarding like the whole Lemon Frost thing and like other things as well. Um, but as the day approached, I won't say like what I heard or what came about. It just became very evident to me that Gary never really truly I'm wanted me there yet. to have like a respectful conversation at that point. And so if people don't want to have a respectful conversation, like it's okay to disagree. It's okay to have different opinions. But to purposely bring somebody on your show who's a guest, you know, you should respect all your guests. To bring them on your show to try to purposely disrespect them, you know, and like, like, pr pr not necessarily even talk about the issues, but just try to make them look bad. That's just like a bad vibe for the show, especially like the Reptile Hot, right? Where we have to be concerned about all the content that we put out there, right? US Ark and all those people, they don't. It doesn't help them when we, like, fight amongst each other and, like, you know, all that kind of stuff. So the more we can have civil discussions and respectful conversation with each other, the better off that that will be. So I'm totally down for that. I know that you 100% Wally are capable of doing that. Whether you want to host that on your show, on your channel or not. Hates that breeding season begins. Yeah, so we've been we've been breeding. Um, we're already breeding right now, so we already have like a couple hundred babies on the ground from the last couple months. Oh, I think you meant when yours begins or something, right? Yeah, so that's why I made my. Um, that's why I made my live stream the other night, just talking about like, when people lie about you, just love, you know what I mean? Like that's my goal, because at the end of the day, I think that people's, people's souls and people's humanity is more important than me trying to retaliate or me trying to like prove somebody wrong that cannot be proved wrong, right? Some people just, they have their mind made up, no matter what you say, no matter what, what you do, even if what they believe is false, they're still, at that point in their life, they're still going to like, just carry around the weight of negativity. So those are the type of situations where, like at that point, you just have to ask yourself, is it worth, you know, doing this particular live stream or event or something. I mean, I love back and forth banter. I love people that bring different perspectives. I think there's a very, like I watch debates all the time. I watch debates on atheism versus creationism. I watch debates on, you know, this Christianity sect versus another Christianity sect. The most recent debates I started watching were um, Flat Earth versus Globers. And I couldn't, I guess I could believe that some people think that the Earth is still flat. But there's, the thing is, um, in every single debate, there's always doctors on both sides of the, of the debate, right? There's doctors that are atheists. 
there's doctors that are theists. There's doctors that are um, from every like religion and sect of, of faith and debate and argument that you could basically um, participate in. There's doctors in all of those fields. But I, I've never seen... Are you guys taking that? Oh, well, thank you guys so much. I so, Tavel, how do you want me to... Um, okay, so I think she's going to send me your hours or whatever. Okay. So you want me just to send the full to her then? Okay. You got her isopods? Cool. Well, thank you so much. All right, we're going to play with you and Dustin one day. What? Yes, I believe so. Thank you for coming after your hard work day. No, you. You and Dustin, I was saying. That'll be even more fun to watch you attempt to play. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay. Was yeah, okay. Oh, so you play then? You know? You, you know? You play? Okay. <laughs> Sadly. Three. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be great. You won't even be able to move. It's going to be hilarious. That is true. We, we need family friendly uh, banter. It's called a mute button. <laughs> yeah. Alright, but yeah. Yeah, I I got you though. We'll we'll figure it out. We'll make it work. I can't do that here. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Brooke. Bye. Thank you, Tavel. I listened to the live. It was so generic. It perpetuates the drama. As it didn't bring up yeah I agree like if there are specific things that somebody is concerned about uh, well first of all I would like to say you should talk about it with that person privately to find out if it's true or not and um, yeah MJ never did that and then second of all you definitely should not invite them to do alive with you and then at the last minute tell them that they can't go on the live and then also stop you from chatting like okay so if you disagree with somebody everybody should still be allowed to speak their perspective if that makes sense so like and and prove me wrong like if i'm wrong about something prove me wrong but if you won't even give me a chance to, to speak about it or provide evidence or even make yeah even make a statement, then I don't I don't know what the what the purpose is. Like you have to have the ability to talk to people that are different than you, or that you think. Do you think it would be possible for you to do a streaming schedule or something? But yeah, no. Uh, I absolutely want to get on a streaming schedule, 100%. And this gaming streaming thing that I'm thinking about doing, um, that w that wouldn't be like a an every stream thing. It would just be like certain nights. Um, and then other nights we would be in the Gecko garage. And then other nights we would have guests. So I'm still very interested in bringing guests on the channel. I'm trying to link up with some cool, like, Asian leopard gecko breeders and stuff, you know? If I brought up a question for you here, would that be appropriate or I contact you online? Um, I think that's fine. I mean, you could, you could bring up the question. If you want to. I mean, it's up to you. I need more fury. Not ready yet. Yeah, so like a lot of people. Whoa, this is a lot of gold here. A lot of people in the reptile hobby are very like one-sided, meaning 
if they don't if you don't agree with them or if you don't like do things exactly the way that they believe things should be done there's like no wiggle room for uh like companionship right people get so nitpicky over like the smallest things i need to sell some of these goods here that's why i came back to town i am way overburdened with stuff um Alright, let's sell everything else. Can I sell with this guy? Yes. Fair trade. Right, now we're clear. Um, so I'm I'm probably on a minute delay here, but I will be right back in two seconds. I really like the lives you used to do cleaning tubs and showing geckos. Um, I do like those lives. The problem with that, I, okay, so now what I do is I just show geckos, usually, instead of cleaning, because if I'm cleaning, sometimes I might miss something if I am paying attention to the, um, if I'm paying attention to like the questions and stuff, I might miss something for the cleaning, or I might be cleaning at a slower pace than I actually need to be cleaning at, you know? So, that's why I kind of stop with those. It's just a lot of work to balance both, and it doesn't efficiently, like, do one or the other. Because then my mind is distracted by cleaning, so I'm not answering the questions as well. Like, even right now, you can kind of hear, like, in my live stream a little bit, it's tough to, like, balance the game a little bit, and then also I must conversation and stuff. Um, and the same thing happens. You know what's funny? If you guys know who Go Herping is, he, like, lost his channel or something like that, and so when he came back, he just started streaming a whole bunch of stuff that was like way different than his reptile content. He started like streaming being an Amazon driver and stuff, you know, like in the middle of the night. Um, it was pretty crazy. And I, I, I mean, I like the guy. I, I still watch it from time to time. But I'm definitely more on like the breeding side of things. Like I like to watch stuff that's more related to breeding. I also like Animals at Home. If you guys watch Animals at Home podcast, um, they're, they're a really cool podcast that brings up the different elements of caring for reptiles, like where we should be going as far as like enrichment for reptiles is concerned. So like stuff like that, like he's a very professional talker, right? Um, I would definitely go on to shows with people who are professional. I don't care what they ask. I don't care. It's just be professional. Like, actually have a respect for the guests that is coming on to your show, whether you like them or not. They're, they're giving their time, energy, resources to be there. The least you could do is offer them re respect. You know, give them their chance to speak. Bring your hard questions. If you don't like the answers, push back. But at the end of the day, like, 
you're still yeah I did I did make it a little bit louder cuz I uh... oh wait oh no yeah I did make it a little bit louder let me let me lower it again I'll I'll watch this back too like when I watch the stream I'll watch it back and I'll see what the noise levels are to be able to adjust better from but yeah, Wally, I love you, man. I'm super glad that you came came by for sure. Um, I'm not ready. So another thing that's in the rep, another. So here's another thing right now too, that I think is. Uh, so I think the people in the hobby that are really negative. One of the things that they do is they try to like rally up as many of their friends as they can against you and against like other people that support you or people that you like or people that you try to work with. And what happens is it becomes it becomes something that the other person perceives to be like a threat when in actuality if you just ignored these naysayers they would literally go away but if you give in to their demands then they never go away you know what i mean if i brought up a question for you here professionally would that be appropriate yeah that's fine you, you could bring up a question professionally so an example of that is like not ready yet I won't give any specific names or anything like that. But let's say I was going on to a certain live stream and I made and, and the person made the thumbnail. And then that content creator started getting a bunch of messages from like the mob, right? The woke mob of haters that are in the reptile hobby that just try to rally up their friends and anybody that they can to like give people problems. If they started bothering the person whose live stream I was supposed to go on, and then that person said, Hey, look, Frank, I can't have you on. There's just too much naysayers, too much drama. I, I don't want any drama. You empower the naysayers. Like, you literally give them the power to say, Okay, I'll do whatever you want. You know what I mean? And, and from that point on, they will always be able to control them. So... I wish there was a little bit less of that in the hobby and, and people would be willing to like not ready yet. stand more independent, you know? But I understand it. It is a small hobby, it's a small league. You know? If somebody feels concerned that their brand might be tainted because this small group of woke mob reptiles haters want to make them feel that way, I understand that that can be a scary thing, but in reality, those people often have no power, no control, no influence, other than their small group of friends who also have no power, no control, no influence. So the only way that they get any level of power, control, and influence is if you give it to them, right? So I think we as a hobby just need to stop giving it to them. Stop giving them. And that's what I made Wally. I don't know if you saw my first response video like a long time ago. I know you commented to me about my second response video, but you probably didn't see my first response video. Uh, if you want to, Wally, I will send it to you privately. And there was a reason I took it down, and it wasn't because uh, it wasn't because of anything. Um, that I said in defense of myself. It was more other things that were involved that I don't want to mention right now. Where? Wait, did I this? And I still. Uh, there were very good topics and responses in that video. And maybe I will make another video that covers like each of those topics independently 
if, if I need to. Because again, like I said, like, why make, why make a video on these topics if it's not needed, right? Um, because again, if things are just like so outlandishly like not true or doesn't even apply to our brand or followers, right? Like people don't even keep up with like the negative naysayers and like the false accusations they make, then why bring it up at all, right? So. I've heard you deleted some videos or lives. Oh yeah, no, that's completely untrue. That you've that I had a lot of controversy around them, and I won't get into details. No, I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, yeah, so basically, let's let's not get into the details specifically right now, right here. Um, but there were videos, there were statements that were made like I was just saying at the beginning of the stream, there were statements that were made about us that people like to spread these lies that we put out content that was like animals fighting animals or animals eating other animals that were alive, like live versus live. Completely not true. Like 100%, 100,010 million percent not true. Um... So yeah, I think if that's what you're talking about, then cool. If you're talking about something else, then you might need to let me know. Wally, do you have a phone number? How come you had you didn't text me? I thought we have each other's phone number. Um, I will send you. I will send you the the video link, and then I'll send you why I took that video down. Um. That one specific, that was a response video that I made. A response to like the false accusations about like Lemon Frost and a few other things. But now I'm actually planning on doing like an entire review of like Lemon Frost and, and probably certain other topics fury. as well. You know, I kind of held my tongue for a really long time about talking about certain topics because I didn't want to like unnecessary like if I could prevent it I didn't want to ruffle feathers with the people that I knew didn't want us talking about it but when they ruffled the feathers anyway I was like well might as well talk about it now you know so and I think that knowledge should not be hidden and that's a problem in the reptile world is that knowledge not just the reptile world anywhere knowledge gets hidden because people have an agenda right and so the the people that are speaking against lemon frost like cool i i totally get it but why would you not want to educate the truth or educate openly why would you want to just act like Lemon Frost doesn't exist, never existed. That's not the truth, right? That would be like us teaching history and just saying, oh, because this bad event happened over here, we're gonna no longer look into it, you know, to see what led up to that event, you know, and we're not even gonna uh, talk about it or give people a chance to learn about it. Like that just seems completely wrong to me, you know? Yeah, okay, if I do have your phone number, then... <clears throat> Why did I... Well... Um... Let me see if I want to say it. Why I deleted it. Oh, whoa. Okay, I can stop it. I'm sure I can say it. I'll let you, I'll send it, I'll, I'll send it to you, Wally, if I got your number, I'll send it to you, and then uh, you can let me know what you think about it. 
And then I'll let you also know why I took the... Uh, that specific response video down. We had experience with the styrofoam piece of Reptivator flaking away. Um, I have not had a... Um, I would imagine that's possible. The styrofoam piece. You mean like what it's made of? Because the entire thing is styro styrofoam, right? A Reptivator is like 100% styrofoam almost, except for the lid, which is plastic, right? So I'm not sure if you're talking about the outer walls or if um, you're talking about another piece. A lot of people use the water reservoir in Reptivators, and that's completely unnecessary. Like. It does nothing. So, well, I shouldn't say it does nothing. It does nothing when you incubate eggs in a container itself, if that makes sense. That already controls humidity. And I shouldn't say it does absolutely nothing, because in some of my incubators, I will leave, um, I will leave, like, excess tubs and stuff in there that, that are holding moisture, just so that it keeps the whole humidity, the whole, um, incubator boosted with humidity because sometimes it dries out you know sometimes the containers dry out over like 30 to 60 days and then you have to like respray them a little bit so that kind of prevents that from being an issue does that make sense i'm not ready yet Forward to more details, game generalities you use in my uh, honest opinion, do nothing but Alright, happy Easter, Wally. We will talk soon. But also, so if somebody wants to know. Yeah, so like. If somebody wants to know something, like I said, I'm happy to answer any question on any live, like, anywhere. Um, but at the same time, like, the person who's posting the live should be respectful, right? I just think that that's a professional thing. I must wait. Should be given to guess the people why, regardless of the stance or the position of the party members of that. Right? Like, it's already causing entertainment. It's already going to be something that you're going to get, like, a lot of views for, especially if it's, like, a controversial thing. So, like, that's cool. And I could even, like, play into the drama of it a little bit and stuff like that, but when somebody, like, when somebody actually really hates yet. you and like wants to see your downfall, that's a problem for for like a host to be hosting that person if they can't like if they can't have respect for another human being to the point where they, they want that person to die, right? Um, because even our worst critics, even the really worst yet. critics of ours. I would totally be respectful to them on a live stream interview, like if I was to interview them on my channel, or I would um, also just be a human being to them, right? If they were hungry, I would feed them. If they, you know, if they needed um, help with something, I would help them, right? But the people that this, the, the woke mob of reptiles that likes to go after people, are not that way. They just want to see people um, like burn and suffer is what they want, you know? And so number one, that they're often people who have no following, no followers. And that's the reason is they're just really, really negative. If they change that around and they were able to actually like respect human life and also be professional, they would be able to get a lot of followers because people would actually watch their show and like, you know, 
like listen to what they have to say because they know how to market it, right? Some 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 drama needs to be market marketed. Um, whenever you watch a show, all the drama in that TV show or movie, all of that is marketed. Like it's 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 um it's planned ahead of time. Like okay. This is what we're going to make the thumbnail to be. These are the topics that we're going to talk about. But the people that are actually on the, on the show often do not have, like, true hatred for each other. Even if they play it out like they do, you know? And especially in the reptile hobby, which is, like, a small enough niche and hobby, and with USR being out there and everything like that, um... You don't necessarily want to create a... You don't want to create something that would be... That would make US Ark's life more difficult, right? So you could definitely talk about the controversial topics, the interesting topics. But the more that you try to, like, demonize people in the reptile hobby unnecessarily or without evidence that just actually makes us arc's job harder because now us arc is you know whatever these statements are with like PETA or other like organizations that hold to those statements they're going to try to use that against the reptile hobby and so i just don't this? think it's beneficial like all around you know brantley what's going on Testing out is geckos and gaming live stream attempt. Uh, this is my first one. So we will definitely do other live streams that, you know, where we're in the gecko room, room itself. Not ready yet. I'm gonna call Wally after I send him that video. Wally's a Where should we go? Um, I need to actually see. Oh, did I put it on the list? <clears throat> so this is like the best way. See this guy, Animals at Home podcast. Really cool. And this is actually a really interesting video. Um, top animal careers you haven't thought of. That's pretty cool because this guy right here, he wants to teach people that like you don't have to make a million animals um, to, to have a successful career in reptiles. Barbarian builds Diablo 4. Where was the guide I was using? Whitney's gone tonight too, so I have a little time to just here we go. I think this was the the guide that I was using here. Oh, you guys can't see this. Is this the guide that I was using? Okay. Cry yeah. is enhanced war cry and power war cry. Make sure to put three points into booming voice so you can unlock raid. Make to sure to put three that. points into booming voice so you can unlock raid leader, which you want to cry. Make this war cry lower the cooldown of the ability significantly. Then a charge, and then you want to make sure your charge ability is five out of five in rank as soon as possible, as that will lower the cooldown of the ability significantly. Then pick up war cry and enhance war cry and power war cry. Make sure to put three. All right, let's let's do that real quick. War cry, enhanced uh, enhanced war cry, power war cry will be next. I'm back. What did I miss? <laughs> you missed quite a lot. Wally was in here. Wally came in, if you know Wally from Supreme Gecko. And he just brought up the topic about, like, you know, some of the negative things that people have to say. And it, 
it's not just about us. Like, people have negative things to say about Brian Barczyk, Kevin McCurley from Nerd, like, so many different companies, right? Um, but obviously, like, the bigger that you get on social media, the more of a target you, you are. And there, there are going to be people that don't want to see you succeed. There's also going to be people that would love to... Um, you know, take you down any chance they get, and so they're gonna spread lies. What did, what did Jesus say? Wars, rumors, wars and rumors are wars. They're gonna spread lies and rumors of lies about you. Um, and so we were talking about that with Wally for a little bit. Yeah, because there was some off the wall stuff that I heard recently that like people were saying that like about us, and I was like, oh man, that is like so far from the truth that and the co and the person that said these things is also like has no um really foundation for being established in the hobby as somebody that's trustworthy and so it's like so I was like I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna respond let's go here this is far away though oh wait I can can spawn here you know i mean what do you guys think about that so right because you guys are our followers a lot of you guys you know we we get like hundreds thousands of playbacks on all of our videos so i know there's thousands of people out there that um watch us consistently and some of you guys have no idea about some of these like lies and stuff like that that like people are saying so to me i'm like why would i bring that up to you guys that have no idea about it if you don't have any idea about it or don't care uh about it y you know what i mean it's almost like just bringing up negativity even if it's false negativity bringing up negativity unnecessarily um so what I tend to do in my content is just stay on track with, you know, quality geckos, quality price, quality. <laughs> when I think about that, the people are always going to hate me. And I see those people as fans. You know what's funny? You know what's funny is I know that when I put out videos, I know that our haters are going to watch it, so sometimes I leave little nuggets in there. Oh, shoot. Wait, how was that? Oh, it was on display capture. Okay. I leave little nuggets out there that I know they're going to react to because they're watching. I leave that there for them. Like, nothing too crazy, right? But I just leave little things there that I know is gonna irk them because I know they're watching, if that makes sense. Nothing too bad. I'm just like, okay, well, I appreciate you watching. <laughs> I'm trying to level. Guys, you might see me die here. This dungeon, oh, I thought it was 35. This dungeon, has level 31 characters in there, and I'm only level 29. So, let's see if I can take them on. What do you guys think? Shoot me a heart if you think I can take... Uh-oh. I froze. I got stuck or something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, there we go. Take me back. Have you seen the dark mandarins on Morph Market? I think I have. I've been I've been following those breeders and stuff that that make those. So I'm pretty sure I have. We could check that out though. Let's see. Um the Morph Market. Dark Mandarin. Let's see. Let's see what what people got um i'm probably gonna have to go is it just
Oh, so probably these right here, yeah? It's like this one, Black Blood Mandarin. Oh, so yeah, uh, th these are sim. These are obviously they don't have Black Knight in there, but these would be cool to put into like a Black Knight project. And these basically come from Asia, right? It should be, yeah, from Korea, Dark Mandarins. I actually might order some of these. I've been looking at like the Korean breeders. I've been looking at the Korean breeders. Oh, you guys didn't see what I just saw. Hold on. I'll show you what I was looking at here. A morph market. So these dark mandarins right here. Um, basically, they're from Korea. I know Paiko Geckos. I know him. Uh, seen him at the California shows and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Obviously, Mandarin, most mandarins will be Poshet NDBE. Um, I think that's going to be a tough price point. Um, I mean, I could be wrong. I just, especially for a female, I think that's going to be a tough price point, but maybe, maybe, maybe it'll, maybe it'll work. I mean, it's, it's unique for sure. To, to a certain degree. Now... How, um, one of the things with like the Asian breeders and stuff like that too, which are pretty cool is like, I have no problem with this, but one of the, f like just the facts of reality of things is that a lot of times their geckos are going to be a little bit smaller and just like weaker genetically. Cause there's a lot more inbreeding going on. Um, and that's how they get some of these cool that's that's how they get some of these like really cool um morphs and stuff to pop out i see that here with some of our geckos um if you continue to inbreed lines you're gonna get some pretty cool stuff that comes out um but it comes at a cost it comes I'm at the low. cost of it comes at the cost of you know, the, just the overall size and like quality of the animals. So, I thought it was crazy they are going for more than Black Knights and are the most expensive singular gecko on Morph Market. Yeah, that's pretty. That is pretty crazy. Um, because like darker Mandarin I'm stuff. On Fury. And I know Brandon. I I know Pico Geckos. I I love the dude. I think the dude's a cool dude. Um, he's just starting his business right now and. He's kind of uh, positioned himself to be to be known for selling like the high end imports and stuff like that from Korea and, stuff. and like Korea and those places they have great animals. Like I said, I might bring in some stuff. I saw some of the ciphers they were producing over there, and I was like, dang, they they're ahead of the person who created Cipher, which is over here in the United States. And again, that's from more injury, right? Because the Asian breeders don't have as high of a standard when it comes to like inbreeding and stuff like that. It's just the way that it is. Um, and again, I really have no problem with that. But it, there are going to be like pros and cons to that, right? The pro is it will get you where you want to go faster and you're going to hatch out way more unique stuff, right? Oh, I did that thing again. You're going to hatch out way more unique stuff, but it comes at the cost of some of the offspring, not all of the offspring, but some of them are going to be weaker genetically and smaller and not thrive. And you're going to be selling those to people too. And so, not to say anything negative for sure, 100%, but if you bought one of those geckos for like 2,000 bucks and then the gecko turned out to not be a full grown, healthy sized animal as an adult, you just want to be prepared for that. You want to understand that this is a risk that I'm taking and the risk is a little bit higher. Now there are signs to look for. So. 
Like I can tell you the signs that I look for in a super healthy animal. You can see this animal has like a bigger head and a sl- a more slender body. Um, and that's a little bit reminiscent of like inbreeding, right? You could check out this gecko. Doesn't look horrible. I mean, a little bit slender. How old is that? Another thing is you want to look at their age. The birth was September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Six months old and it's 30 grams. Most geckos that are six months old are 60 grams, are like 50 to 60 grams already. So the fact that this animal is 30 grams at six months old lets you know that it doesn't have the healthiest genetics. Watch, here's Kingsington. Let's see how old this animal is. A little bit older. This says 30 grams, but you. I don't know. that Something is off here between this picture and the last one. If this is 30 grams, you could see it's a much healthier 30 grams. Can you guys see that? Look at this. This 30 grams versus this 30 grams. And there could be something wrong with the dates or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, but I know this. Look at look at this body. I know this, guys. I know this 100%. And again, I'm not saying anything bad about Brandon. I love Brandon. He's a cool dude. He's doing well. Look, I mean, he's got a bunch of sales from these. You know, people are enjoying the animals that they're getting from him. Let's see. I don't think he has any negative reviews. And he's got a bunch of actual reviews, which is pretty cool. Like sometimes people don't leave reviews and stuff like that, you know? Um, but he's he's got reviews, so that's that's good. Yeah, like I said, he's from California. I know I've seen him out there, and he only he's only been on since September twenty twenty three, and he's already sold like all of these Black Knights and stuff like that. Like you can see, he's got a lot of listings here. Um, definitely a lot of listings. Let's take a look while we're here. Black Knight Mandarin. So he's got some Black Knight Mandarin stuff, which is pretty cool. See this? For a Black Knight, I would definitely say that's healthy. But let's go back to the tangerine real quick. The Red Devils. Uh, Let's go back to this tangerine. I can tell you this body shape right here is a little bit off. Like that's not quite a normal body shape or I should say not the best body shape. Like you can see how big the head is, how small the body is. This also looks like, yeah, this is a female. So the the risk that you run with this is that you might pay $2,000 for this animal or $2,500 for this animal and then it might not grow up to be a healthy animal. Like I just know it. I've grown up enough of these animals. Like I, I have a lot of tangerines and tangerine is already a pretty inbred line. I can tell this is, this has slim bone structure, muscle structure. You can see the tail is chunky, but the body is skinny. So that's telling me it has low muscle structure, low bone structure. And those are the things that I just, I look at those things when I look at an animal, like compared to this, check this out. So this animal, you can see a thicker tail, thicker like body structure. So when you do inbreed, when you do in like inbreed, you're going to see some stuff like that. And the Asian market is very large. Like they breed a ton of animals, just a ton, a ton of animals. And I would imagine... I don't know this for sure, obviously, but I would imagine there is a lot of places in like rooms. inbreeding and stuff that's going on to here? achieve different, unique projects, as well as like, 
you know, more black black knights. How come I can't get here? What's going on here? What? How come I can't, uh... How come I can't get back there? There must be a quest or something. World boss. Where's the world boss gonna be? Is that the world boss? No. I'll go join everybody, fight the world boss, if the world boss is gonna be here. <gasps> Let's go. I've never been to a world boss fight yet. Let's go. Is it normal for a gecko to shed twice out of a month? Ah, uh, that's possible, for sure. Especially when they're younger and growing. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, oh yeah, let's go fight this world boss, and then we'll finish our thoughts on that. Um, wait, wait, I'm going the wrong way here. I've never fought a world boss before with people, so this will be interesting. I'm gonna put the sound up a little bit here. Fight this dude and hear some cool sounds. Yeah, so I mean we've we've produced thousands of animals over the last couple years, so I have a really good idea of like the the pace that an animal should grow at to make sure that like when you're selling it, it's a hundred percent on track and healthy with like where it should be going. And all that stuff. I'm low. Oh, actually, we should just bypass this so that we can get to the boss. What is the goal in Diablo? Is it like story? Yeah, so now it's actually a story game. It ne I mean, um, it's an open world now, and it wasn't an open world before. So Diablo 4 is the first open world one where you'll actually run into other players just randomly and stuff. But the goal of Diablo 4 is to build up your character. So you can see this is my character. I have different items and stuff like that. And to get those items, you need to kill creatures. And when you kill creatures, it drops. It has a chance to drop items. So it's kind of like a farming game. Like you're trying to farm your items. Oh, here we go. There's other characters here. The world boss is going to be dropping very soon here. Oh, uh, let's see. Bellow a mighty war cry. Increasing your damage by 15%. Wait, when does this guy start? Eighteen minutes? I guess I was wrong. I thought it said it was just like a minute away. See, there's these guys here. So now it's an open world. These are other players, like just literally. I don't even know how I talk to this guy. Honestly, do I hit enter? No. I don't know. I haven't learned the social side of Diablo too much. Uh, but we could go. So let's go back real quick. So, let's see. So, yeah, I mean, he's definitely got some cool stuff. Like, I would be interested in this one for sure. Because you can see some of the orange in there. And that's pretty cool. That's what I would like to get out of my Black Knights in the future. There's a lot of those oranges to pull out, so that's really cool. And, you know, sometimes there's a chance that this gecko might grow up. And not this one, sorry. This isn't the one I was looking at. This one. This gecko might grow up. You can see how skinny it is around the hips, which for a female is also not really good. And the fact that it's five months old and only 30 grams, 
ideally you would want to see a five month old at like 50 grams, 60 grams. Um, for a female, probably 55, 60 grams at five months old. And for a male, 65, 70 grams would be about right. And that lets you know that they're growing really well and on pace. See, this is one that is really good, like good, good body structure. It's a black knight, so it's going to be a little bit smaller. You can see this is almost a year old and it's only 32 grams. That's, that's about right for black knights. You know what I mean? That's most black knights only max out around 40, 45 grams for the pure females. Um, Yeah. So he's basically importing everything from Korea, which is pretty cool. This is the Red Devil. Red Devil, Red Devil. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Here we go. So looking at the Red Devils, this one's cool. It's got pied face. I like the pied. I have some tangerines that are like starting to have some pied faces and stuff like that too. So see this, like I would get this because it has like nice oranges in there and, and blacks. That's something that I want to work. Something that I am working right now. And then the black blood Mandarin, that would be pretty cool too. Cause you could infuse that into the black Knight stuff. So, But yeah, I've been thinking a lot about importing from Korea. I think that would be a pretty cool thing to do. Red Devils. This is the one I was talking about that has like the skinny hips. So for a six-month-old animal to be 28 grams and to have those skinny hips... It means that it's a slow grower or a weak genetic animal. And when I sell an animal like that to somebody, as you know, like, I don't think I would do that. I would just tell them, like, I would, I would drop the price because of the animal's condition at its age. And then I would also tell the person, like, when they got it. I like to let people know up front what to expect because a lot of people don't know. And especially if you send somebody who's new to leopard geckos, if you send them an animal that is growing slow or does have some issues, um, it could definitely die on them. And then that, that'll just create a problem for you because then now you're going to have a customer that was like, dissatisfied and, and stuff like that, you know? Um, so yeah, you, I always try to send out like the healthiest animals. And if an animal is not super healthy, I won't send it out or I'll just pet it out for like 50 bucks or something. Right. So yeah, that was what I was looking at. All of his stuffs. Cool. Well, I'm getting a little tired from the stream. I think that this has been pretty cool. Uh, let me get. Let me. Let me know if you guys like this kind of like. Look, all these people. All these people are gathering here for the world boss. I've never done a world boss before. So I don't have any red devils. Um I may get into them one day. I think in leopard geckos it's a lot of the same thing different name, if that makes sense. So a red devil is just like a tangerine bell albino, right? Um but it's like a high quality one, you know? So 
You can make other high quality Bell Albino Tangerines out there. But personally right now I feel like I'm focusing on the Tremper and the Tremper offers a little bit like higher saturation and stuff like that. So I'm just focused on the Tremper right now. But if I, yeah, if I were to go with Bell or like Red Devil or something like that, um, yeah, Red Devil would definitely probably be like a top line that you would want to consider when uh, breeding Bell Albino with Tangerine. Because Bell Albino is a little bit further behind than Tremper Albino as far as like color saturation and stuff like that is concerned because it, it came after Tremper Albino. Um, so, 10 minutes now till this guy pops out. Boost everybody here. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna call it right there, guys. But um, yeah, we we'll probably get into Red Devils. Um, also, ciphers in the future. Um, right now, I'm mainly focused on like our lines and projects of Tangerine, White and Yellow, um, Max Snow, Fasciolatus, Black Knights. Those are things that I'm kind of like focused on. Do you think that? All the albino genes are equal, or do you think one gene is better than the others? I honestly think Tremper, and I, I've said this in past videos, um, Tremper albino is Tremper albino is a more saturated tangerine, um, more saturated albino, meaning that the colors are going to be a little bit more darker, richer in general than bell so i definitely think there's a huge there's a huge difference between uh tremper albino and bell when you see them next to each other bells have like pink eyes trempers out tremper albinos um have more of like silvery eyes and then rainwater to me rainwater is just like similar to tremper but not as good like it's not as far along in all of its projects so i like to say bell and tremper albino are the two best ones when it comes to quality of genetics and potential for the quality of genetics bell is just a little bit further behind than tremper albino is um because it it was it came to the scene later and then also it wasn't as popular for a while and then thirdly it does do something different than tremper so you can't exactly compare it to tremper i i would say like if you were to say is bell better than tremper no bell is better than tremper at producing lighter colored uh, like eyes right and i can't even say body color because Certain Tremper albinos can have very light body color as well. But for the, for sake of argument, let's just say this. Tremper albino is better at producing lighter and brighter animals. Um, Bell, or sorry, Bell albino is better at producing lighter and brighter animals. And then Tremper albino is better at producing more saturated and richer colored animals. I apologize. Greetings. Seven minutes. I'm just gonna wait it out now. Hello. How's that sound? You guys want to wait it out for the? Um, I don't think I need to team up with any of these guys. Let me see. Uh, is this the group chat? Do we have to party up somehow? Where am I? See if these people respond to me. I'll be right back.
We could take a look at some more geckos then. Get some water. Yeah, but that th this that's why he's probably selling this one so cheap. 32 grams at almost a year old. He's probably concerned about if it's going to wind up being a good breeder. But sometimes um sometimes the geckos will just catch up later on in life. This gecko has good bone structure and that's what I look for in smaller geckos is like bone structure. Like you can see it's it's thick. Let's take a look at um, leopard geckos as a whole. Ooh, that Burmese python looks pretty cool. Here's the leopard geckos. Yeah, see, like, the thick... Do you think it would be okay to breed a gecko from PetSmart to another gecko? Yes, I think that's fine. Ooh, a Fuscus. That's cool. How many leopard geckos are on now? 2,000. That's not bad. That is down 2,000 geckos. Did they finally take BHB off? Let me see. Because BHB, nope, they're on here. They always put a lot of reptiles up. They have 76 listings, leopard geckos. So it must just be like other breeders that morph market kicked off because there's way less leopard geckos than there should be. Like if that didn't happen, you know what I mean? All right, we've got two minutes left. All right, two minutes. Look at this. A group of 10 Max Snow Eclipse. That's an interesting way to photograph them. Who is this guy? A group, a group of 10. Interesting. All right, uh, one minute, one minute. or easy compared to the website. Do you mean if it's hard or easy to manage Morph Market than your own website? If that's what you're asking, um, 
they're both just as easy to manage. I would say if you have both, it's not only expensive, but it's also way more difficult to manage because you have to upload photos to both and descriptions to both and manage both. So if you don't really have like much of a social media following and stuff, Morph Market is huge and you'll want to do that. If you do have a decent social media following and stuff like we do, <laughs> then your own um, then your own channel might be better because I mean your own website might be better because it's gonna drive people directly to you and they're not gonna be you're not gonna be subjected to um, anything other than like yourself. I would say the cost is similar though. Like when I was on when I was on Morph Market, I was paying like 300 bucks a year to be on there, and then for my own personal website, I pay about 300 bucks a year. Alright, guys, not going down too much. sorcerer that has like a snake that can shrink. Oh. Is my character right? I'm just realizing right now. I've been doing really great. But I'm just realizing that maybe my character does have some weaknesses. Definitely. Okay, so when that comes, just run out the door. Oh, 
could also be that the people that are fighting with you were all just not that strong. So that's why it's taking us We have 10 minutes to defeat this guy. If he doesn't go down in 10 minutes, see this time. We lose the chance of leaving. But I wonder. This pace, we're definitely not being this. We need somebody to come in and save us because this guy has so much power. There's no way. Somebody please help with a higher level than us come in. Help. Eight minutes. We are over halfway. stick around for it because that group of people we're, we're not gonna be able to beat them so it's just a waste all right switching back to the gameplay thing I'll do one more round of apex with y'all Oh, thank you, Shannon. Have a good night, too. Yeah, I'm going to do just one more round of Apex. and Ooh, let's do an actual Apex game. Yay, I got my chameleon guy. So, bad bot. This is a pretty cool. But I got to be the chameleon. I got to be the chameleon. It's a reptile, right? going on Julian 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 we're just talking some geckos playing some apex I just came from Diablo too I was just playing some Diablo I think it'd be pretty cool to like set up these gaming streams as well and like the people in the hobby that do play, 
we could like go head to head that would be pretty cool especially the people that got beef right they could duke it out over a video game instead of duking it out publicly over the internet giving us arc a harder time with unnecessary drama you shall promise i was created for Just come, you come challenge me in the video game get your anger frustration out on each other there <laughs> oh my shirt matches my my player here this is your champion oh I'm tired we go going for a couple of hours already and had a long day today too I need to make the sound up a little bit, sorry. Apex, crucial for hearing. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna watch this back, but let me know how the sound is, like my voice, and then also, the gunfire is gonna be a little bit loud, so I'll lower it a little, but. Ooh, let's this drop be here. A good place to land. Heard that. Dropping in. Smash Bros, yeah. Hey, oh, Smash Bros, yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. Alright, let's go. Uh oh, I'm lagging a little bit. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, I am lagging a little bit. First blood. Blood on the enemy. It's got to be the stream, I imagine. Oh, that's bad lag. Hold on here. Oh, man, I am loaded up, though, with bullets. As long as I'm not lagging. If I wasn't lagging, that'd be great. I think their one dude is down here. Yeah, I think he's down here. No. Oh man, I'm lagging though. I wonder how to fix that. Wait, um, I have crafting to do. I don't quite know how to fix it right now. Careful, lag in here. Uh, I don't know if I can turn down my resolution, maybe, or something. I don't know. Brand new to the streaming thing. Firing. They will be bound. For my grenade out tension. Strike out. Standing by. The team? Yeah, I wasn't lagging earlier. I don't know why I'm lagging right now. Hmm. Oh, maybe it's because let me s let me close that. That might. You're going to spend eternity as maggot food. 
I wonder if you could see if you guys could see the lag on the stream too. Yeah, come grab us. Snap. Oh snap, way to go. Way to go. Oh that's that's a smart move right there. This guy's got some I IQ moves right here. See now I'm not lagging. Now I'm good, I think. Oh he's gonna do it. He's gonna, oh he's, he's gonna pull it off. Oh yeah, he got the swap. Oh snap. Oh snap, they're on him though. Shoot. I leveled up. Waiting for oh, he's going back to his, uh, dang it, he's smart. This guy's, this guy's, this guy's good. <gasps> he still might die, but he's good. Oh, he's done. Good try, though. All of that 11th place because of how long we took. All right, let's see. I think that's what it was. Uh, I will do gun run. And I will do uh, Mad Maggie. I'll do Mad Maggie on gun run. Man, Super Smash Bros. There's a game I haven't played in a long time. Long, long time. But it's a good game. Let's see if my wife mess uh, texted me or something. Nope, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Happy Easter. Happy early Easter. Oh. Nah, it's 9.46 right now. What am I going to have to do after this? Oh, I have to clean some leopard geckos, put away some leopard gecko males, and then... Probably pair up some new leopard geckos, and I think that should be good. I need to also feed ball pythons, but I could put, I could put that on. When are you gonna have more tangerines on the site? Actually, I do have some tangerines that I'm growing up right now that are pretty amazing tangerines. And so they should be up on the site um, fairly soon. Um, we've just, if you haven't seen, we've been like building rack systems and stuff like that. So it's been a little busy with that. But um, through that process, we're going to definitely be adding more geckos to the website and stuff. Like, especially tangerines, because that's, we're going to be really heavy this year on tangerines and black knights for sure. We are this purple team, so we are second place right now. You can't escape. Give my shield a recharge. There's some blast in there. Oh shoot, I think he dropped. Kill the sick. Recharge my shield. Oh, 
crossfire. Yeah, I'm gonna be selling the plans to those racks soon, and then also probably selling some of those racks like in Arizona, and then also um yeah, I think that's it for now. I got a bunch more I need to make though. Oh, I almost got it. Oh, yeah, that dude. That dude's crying right now because he had such an advantage on me. And then he gave it and he lost it. I was almost going to throw the ball at him. Check this out. If you guys don't know this ball, check it out. Boom. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, where'd he go? Where'd this octane go? He went up. He, he dropped down He's over here. Holy cow. Pretty good though. We are. Oh, we're in first place by a lot. And this dude's AFK. And we're still in first place. Why did your game make a three guy chasing me across the map? What? So too much. Static. Does static have kills? Yeah. This guy's good then. The guy we're playing with, 10 kills, yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> Crack two of them though. I think I can. Hold on here. Um, okay, I think I just figured it out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run this back, but I can definitely I can lower my desktop audio and still give you guys a chance to. And, and I can still hear my sound in full quality. So I think that's what I'm going to have to do next time. I didn't realize that. Oh, we're last. We're going to get it. Uh, we could get it. Oh, there it is. Champion. Last kill. Woo. That's cool. That's my first last kill on a live stream. My first last kill on a live stream. Let's see what our damage was. Oh, and we only had two people that game too, because this dude's static was gone 
Frosty really held it down a lot, though. Yeah, see, he got 17. Frosty got 17 kills, two assists. I only got five kills, five assists. We both did close to the same damage. And then I finished it off with the knife. But Frosty really got us there. So that's pretty cool. Oh, man. Audio input capture. Okay. Well, I definitely think I am done for the night, guys. I appreciate it. This was the first Gaming and Geckos stream. And it probably will not be the last. Yeah, here are those racks that we were just showing off. So that should be pretty cool. But love you guys. I'm going to get some food, get a little rest, do a little work. And I will see you in the next live stream. All right. Take care. Until then, have a geeky gecko. Great day, guys. Peace.